All right, welcome to an uncharacteristically short video about my steam boiler. You may know, if you're watching this, that I, uh, I think a lot about the corrosion in my boiler and I try to minimize it, right? And uh, you all should as well, I think. And so I, I set up an experiment. It's not really an experiment, okay? I'm no scientist, but like a month ago, I wanted to get some idea of, of what increased pH and or the other ingredients of boiler additives, such as 8-Way, the one that I use, but I, I personally believe the pH is the main issue here. I wanted to see how pH affects corrosion. And, you know, I, get, I saw that in my other video where I, you know, I kept the, I didn't drain my boiler for a whole year and I had the pH quite high. It, I don't know what, exactly what it was, but it was in the 11 to 13 range. And when I drained it, it was totally, basically totally clear water came out. There was no, no floating, you know, no brown water, no mud. A few pieces of, uh, of metal came out. I don't know where they came from. I don't know if they came from the, you know, the pipes or, or, you know, some scale that had come off inside my boiler at some point, whatever. The, the important part of that was there was basically like, like no visible corrosion. So we saw that. Well, I wanted to see it uh, more sort of directly. So I took um, a couple containers of tap water a month ago. So on October 27th or 29th, one of them was the 20th. This one was the 27th. This one was the 29th. I don't know why they're two days apart. I can't remember, but regardless. <laughs> I took identical fittings. These are three quarter, half inch, maybe they're half inch, half inch close nipples. And I took one and I put it in a container with a little bit of eight way in it. And it was really, it was just a few drops of eight way is all I put in there because, you know, it's pretty concentrated. It, it dilutes, it can, you can dilute it quite a bit. It still will show the color indicator. And, um, I'll include some photos. I'll 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 uh I'll show some photos right now that show what it looked like on the day that I set this up. Uh the eight-way, as I recall, came out more of a sky blue and then it has turned more lavender over time. Even within a couple hours it started to turn lavender. So that's that's the indicator that it has in it. It has a pH indicator. So whether it was after being exposed to the air or exposed to the metal, I don't know, but it changed color slightly. But regardless. And then I took one that was just tap water alone with no treatment in it and I put an identical fitting inside it. So both these fittings were quite new. This one actually you can see a little bit of shelf corrosion was on it and is still on it on that on the one end. Um, just a little bit of surface corrosion was on it and is still there. But no additional corrosion has occurred and that's the point of this thing is I wanted to see what would happen. So so nothing, um, nothing has happened to this eight-way one. And it doesn't, it's not like it's loaded full of eight-way. This has like less concentration than my boiler does. And I'm going to demonstrate that. I've got my little, uh, I think these are called pipettes, okay? If you're a chemist, you know. But uh, take my little eyedropper here. And I have a test, a pH test sheet, strip rather. And if I put that drop there, you can see it's not super, super dark. And, and I have, oh, sorry about the camera work, but down here I have this posted. So here's nine and here's eight. And I, and I'm, it's laying on, you know, the, the green boiler and the color is not going to be accurate. But when I look at this, it's in the, it's in the seven to eight to nine range. Now I think it's gonna be higher than seven because seven is like straight neutral tap water and it does it did darken it slightly. But uh, it's, a, it's eight or nine is all it is. But you can see the eight ways in there and you can see what's gone on with the lack of corrosion. This one, um, what I did here is I put these on my boiler so they'd get some heat and maybe some, you know, the water would evaporate a little faster. And when the water level starts to drop, I just ref I just top it off with my tap water. And I've done that over this month. I've done it four or five times. 
and uh, you can see at the bottom here, again with the camera work, you can see at the bottom here, there's a good quarter inch of, you know, powdery rust sediment that has formed there. Now that doesn't mean this, this fitting is totally rusted out. Rust uh, gets generated um, in a lot greater mass. What's the word I want to use? There, it does, a piece of steel doesn't have to rust very much to create like a lot of rust, okay? And that's what we're seeing here. This is very silty. I'll stir it up here in a minute, but it's very silty. It's very, um, it's not dense at all. So if I were to evaporate all this water and weigh it, it would weigh something. But remember, that's not just the, that's not the steel. This is all the steel that's come off or the iron that's come out of this steel fitting. It's also the weight of the oxygen that combines with the steel to make ferric, Fer ferric ferrous oxide or ferric oxide. There's actually two different things. Again, I'm not a chemist, okay? But I, I do know that when the oxygen combines with the iron, it adds its weight to it, right? So rusty things gain weight as they become rustier. Uh, that's just a thing I saw in some show a long time ago. So anyway, so let me, just to show you, I gotta do it with my finger, to show you what the pH is of this one. So, you know, I'm not doing some trick with acid. There we go. So you see, it's in the shadow. There you see it. It's basically, it's just the color that the paper was. So it's, you know, it doesn't change the color of the paper. It's tap water. Trust me, I wouldn't lie to you and put a bunch of vinegar in here or something. So this is just what, you can try it at home. This is what tap water does to a fitting in a month. Now, let me grab this guy out of here without stirring all this up too much. Camera work. All right. Let's take a look at this. I haven't had it out of the water this whole month, so this is the first time I've seen it too. See, it doesn't look that bad. You know, it's not like it's not like your boiler is going to rot out in a month, okay? But the important thing in my mind is this is the metal corroding, right? So. No matter how long it takes, whether, you know, it's going to take years, but why, why would you, if all you had to do was put a little boiler treatment in your boiler and keep track of the level occasionally with a pH test strip or just use the color marker, why wouldn't you do that to save this from happening, right? Again, this fitting, if I polish it up, you couldn't tell it from an original fitting because all this rust, and it is a decent, you know, there's a decent amount of powder at the bottom here. Look at this. Like, like I showed, it's like a quarter inch of powder that has settled down. All that rust, that's what makes the brown water in everybody's boiler. Why would you just allow that to occur on the boiler that you just spent ten, fifteen, or twenty thousand dollars installing, right? So. Think about it. Pick your favorite boiler treatment. Mine's eight-way. I don't really like Surgex. Squick is exclusively, in my mind, for getting rid of oils in your boiler if you can't skim it for some reason. But skimming's always best. But eight-way Steam Master tablets, they're not identical to eight-way, but they're made by the same company. They just don't make them anymore. So everyone's looking for alternatives to Steam Master tablets. You could even just boost your pH with with pH booster that they sell for the pool industry. Just be careful with it because that stuff is very, very um, highly concentrated alkaline. But, you know, just monitor your boiler water with a little bit of uh, time and these $5 test strips from Amazon. And, uh, you know, I mean, you, you pick. Which, which, which kind of boiler water do you want to have? That's it.